based on the concept of conversion of one form of trigonometric ratio into the another form and the sine rule of trigonometric ratio is in different different quadrant we need to solve this question find the value of tan 19 power over 4 and sine negative of 11 power over 3 and these angles are actually given in the radian form and in the previous video we deal with the questions which were in which the angles were given in the degree form and the pretty pretty same uh, format we're going to do same process we're going to apply but a little uh, different it will be first uh, uh, first we need to deal with these things all right uh, to solve this type of problem I'll, I'll show you three ways all right whatever you like easy uh, doing that way all right so let's first deal with tan 19 pi over 4 all right we have here tan 19 pi over 4 so look at here it is 19 over 4 always to solve this kind of problem you need to see the first the digits you need to see first the numbers it is 19 over 4 similarly here if you see it is 11 over 3 so first figure out uh, whether it is in decimal or in the perfect number figure out how much is that number all right so divide it I mean 19 you have to divide by 4 so like 4 times 4 you'll get 16 and you'll get 3 and then point and 0 4.7 and then you'll get 28 all right and you'll get 2 you don't have to do further right stop it so you got what 4.7 it means uh, if you if you see that this is pi right pi means 180 degree all right so it's very very close to 5 pi all right I mean, I'm going to say this 19, uh, 19 pi by 4 is very close to 5 pi and is more than 4 pi, all right? This is, uh, this is more than, uh, more than 4 pi, but 5 pi is more than this 19 pi by 4. It means 19 pi by 4 is uh, bigger than 4 pi, all right, but less than 5 pi. If you see in the figure, <coughs> all right, <coughs> Uh, let me show you <clears throat> this is complete 1 pi all right this is 1 pi all right 2 pi this is 1 pi this is 2 pi all right and again this is 3 pi and again this is 4 pi all right so this is bigger than 4 pi all right because we have 4.7 almost it might be here maybe second quadrant i'm just guessing i'm not sure all right maybe in second quadrant it is because 0 0.7 it may be almost here all right <clears throat> so i'm not sure so it's more than more than 4 pi but but less than 5 pi this is 4 pi all right so less than 5 pi 5 pi will be here again so it is less than 5 pi but more than 4 pi so it is between these two and almost we are sure all right you know it's it's 4.5 pi right we, we are very sure and this is uh, 5 so means we are almost sure that this is in the second quadrant right but but to do to do that you know to solve this question uh, you know uh, as we as we are dealing in the previous video we need to write the form into the into the 90 degree form or you can say into the pi by 2 form all right pi by 2 is also 90 degree it's in the radian form that actually so i'm going to represent this 19 pi by 4 in the basis of pi or on the basis of pi by 2 all right so here i have tan 19 pi by 4 so i need to write this you know uh, i have to write this something like x pi by 2 plus or minus something something theta something like this I need to represent then only I can say whether whether this 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 x is odd or even and based on that I will change or not all right that things comes so to represent in this way all right I need 19 pi by 4 so let me say uh, let me say uh, here it is I can subtract from 5 pi all right if I'll subtract from 5 pi let's say something let's say something uh, x then I will get 19 pi by 4 because 19 pi by 4 is somewhere like this here all right so if I'm subtracting from 5 pi angle X then I'll get 19 pi by 4 or what I can do all right this is the second method this is the first method and now there is second method you can do 4 pi plus X and then you'll get uh, 19 pi by 4 all right this is the uh, this is the this is the second method and the third method is first you convert 19 pi by 4 into the degree all right so whatever you like you can go in that way whatever you feel is you converting to the degree or using this one or using this one all right for a while i'm doing this one all right so let's say here x will be now 5 pi minus 19 pi by 4 so that's going to be 4 and 4 times 5 that is 20 pi minus 19 pi that's going to be pi over 4 so it means this x is actually pi by 4 all right so from if you look at here tan uh, 19 pi by 4 then we can write that tan 19 pi by 4 as a 
10. How much? Yes, 5 pi minus pi by 4. 5 pi minus pi by 4. All right, let me write it for properly. Okay. So this is how, what I mean to say. All right, so now, now you go into the base, you know, in the base, actually. Uh, so 5 pi is here, all right? 5 pi is here, and 5 pi minus pi by 4 means we are in the second quadrant, all right? So in second quadrant, the tan is always negative, all right? And first, first thing, you know, it's in this line, there is no change at all. 5 pi is this line, all right? And if you want to write in the form of pi by 4, then you can, you can even write like this. You know, this is 5 pi. You, you already know that there will be no change, but still if you want to uh, learn in the way uh, that you had learned in the previous video that a multiple of 90 degree, whether it is odd or even. So, so pi, instead of writing here, this 5 pi, I can write now this is tan, 10 times pi by 2 minus pi by 4. It's just a way, you can solve directly from here also, but I'm just trying to make all the we, I mean, all the questions into the same way. I mean, the one way I'm trying to solve, that's it. So it's 10, all right? So now the pi by 2 is, means 90 degrees multiplied by an even number. So whenever it is multiplied by an even number, there is always no change at all, all right? See here, it was 8. So whenever 90 degrees multiplied by an even number, there is no change. So the trigonometric sine will be in sine, tan will be in tan, cot will be in cot. So similarly here we have 10, all right? Uh, it's tangent so it will be tangent of pi by 4 and now the matter comes of sine what is the sine rule here it is positive or negative here I need to write plus sign or I need to write negative sign that I need to confirm so to confirm that we already already said that this is going to be in the second quadrant and in second quadrant according to the cast rule C A S T all right here is cos positive and sec positive here is all positive and here is sine and cosine positive here sorry here and according to the cast rule, here is cos and sec positive here, all positive, and here sine and cosec positive here, tangent and cotangent positive. So in the second quadrant, the tan is negative. So I need to put here negative sign, all right, because it is tan, you know, so, so it's going to be negative sign. And now it is minus, and tan 45 is actually 1. So the value of tan 19 pi by 4 is coming here as a minus 1. This is how we need to solve it. And in the same way, I'm, I'm pretty same way I'm going to solve this problem. Uh, sine uh, minus 11 pi over 13 all right so let me solve it sine minus 11 pi over 4 all right so before this before solving this I want to again remind you here that sine of negative angle is always negative of the sine that angle all right so if I have here this minus then I can write that that as a minus sine 11 pi by 4 okay now let's go ahead 11 pi by 4 as we did in the previous video we first we first uh, we first divide 19 by 4 so same thing I'm gonna do here 11 by 4 so so that I can figure out how much times that multiple of pi it is so 11 divided by 4 so 4 times 3 I cannot do because that's 12 so 4 times 2 that's going to be 8 and it's now 3 and I'm gonna point and then 4 times, uh, so it's here, so 4 times 7, it will be now 28. I, I don't have to go further, more 2.75, it will come something uh, something like that. So 2.75 times pi it is, all right? So, so 11 pi over 4 is actually 2.75 pi if you go, all right? And uh, if, if you see this, then 2.75 pi is bigger than 2 pi, but less than 3 pi. And if you see in the uh, in the quadrant now, then this is your zero, all right? So this is your first pi, all right? This is your first pi. This is your second pi. This is your third pi, all right? This is your fourth pi. So now it is bigger than two pi, all right? But less than three pi. It means again, and you know that this is 2.7 means this is 2.5 region. This is 2.5 region, 2.7. So it will be in the again second quadrant, all right? This is how we need to calculate. Again, this is in the second quadrant. And in second quadrant, sine is always positive. That's that's very good thing for us now here. So uh, we need to now write 11 pi by 4 uh, as a as a we can write like this. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you here. We can write like 2 pi plus something or 2 pi uh, or 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 3 pi minus something. All right. That should be 11 pi over 4. That should be 11 pi over 4 or you can convert this into the degree and then you can solve it alright so so uh, whatever you wish you can do alright let's let's opt this one so 
11 pi over 4. I'm going to say uh, 3 pi minus x is equal with now 11 pi over 4. So our x is going to be now 3 pi minus 11 pi by 4. So it's going to be now 12 pi minus 11 pi over 4. Again, we get pi over 4. So we can write this as a negative of sine. Now this is pi by 4, right? So it's 3 pi minus pi by 4. Uh, I'm going to say this is 3 pi minus pi by 4 equals to 11 pi by 4. All right, so I'll write here in the place of 11 pi by 4. Now I can easily write 3 pi minus pi over 4. All right. And a very straight rule, whenever you have the multiple of pi, uh, that time no changes at all, you know. I mean, I mean uh, this line is the multiple of pi. This is 1 pi, this is 2 pi, this is 3 pi, this is 4 pi. Whenever you are in this region, there is no change at all. It means sine will be in the sine, all right. I mean, you can directly write here now, sine pi by 4. And this minus is here, this minus is here. And in, since we are in the second quadrant, so sign is positive in second quadrant, so we need to write a positive sign. But we don't write positive, that's okay. All right, minus sine pi by 4. This is how directly you can solve. Or if you want, then you can you can again go in the same uh, 90 degrees concept. All right, uh, this 90 degrees concept, uh, where it was, yes, here it is. So whenever we have 90 degree even multiple, there is change and odd multiple, there is no change. But this is a basic, you know, once you uh, once you do good practice, you should be able to do fast, all right? I told, I told you already that in this region, there is no change at all. So you can use it directly. Uh, there is no need to now convert <coughs> into the pi by two, but still you can do it in that way, all right? Let's, let's try to do it in that way also. Some might be interested in doing that way. So I can write here six pi over two minus pi by four, all right? Minus pi by four, and now, Again, we have a here even number. So whenever even number is multiplying pi by 2, there is no change at all. So this is minus, all right? And this will be sine and pi by 4, all right? So again, this is in second quadrant, as I said. So it will be positive, and we didn't have to write them. So in both way, we have the same way. I mean, the same answer. And minus and sine 45 is actually 1 over root 2. And that's our answer. That's the value of sine negative of 11 pi over, th uh, pi over 4. And if you have any more confusion, then please feel free to comment below this video or any questions to convert something like this. You might not be understanding somewhere, maybe maybe some problem in my explanation, uh, weakness in my explanation, then please feel free to comment. I'll definitely get back to your comment and I'll try to make you understood your uh, query, all right? So see you in the next video. Goodbye.